All right, 8788. You calling in for a session? Can you hear me, 8788? Yes, hello. Okay. Okay, what's your first name in the state you calling from? Uh, Nikki, I'm calling from Massachusetts. Okay. Oh, wow. I had Massachusetts callers yesterday. Okay. Now, how do you find out about me, Nikki? Uh, through the Internet. Okay. So now, what, what were you search, searching for a particular uh, answer and my, my video came up or what? Uh, yeah, I was watching. Um, I was looking for things on deliverance. Okay. So so why do you think you need deliverance? Um, because I feel like I'm being um followed uh in oh. the room. Uh, like no matter where I go there's always something to cause a problem. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, yeah. I, I feel like I'm I'm constantly just in compromising positions. Where even mm-hmm. if I do, even if I do the right thing, I'm being made to look like mm-hmm. I'm in the wrong. Um, I feel like I'm dealing with witchcraft um, mm-hmm. and and Satanists. Mm. Now, that, do you have any uh, friends or former friends that was involved in witchcraft and and, and yeah, possibly I, was a Satanist? Yeah, before I was saved, I knew people that were involved in that. Mm-hmm. So now, now have 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 you ever um, 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 played with a spirit boy, Ouija boy? Yeah, back in my early teen years. Yeah, that's why I could this thing is fun. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think who was that dear sister. She's out in Cal- Christine. I think Christina out in out in California. I think it was a couple, if not last week, a couple of weeks ago. Same thing happened to her. Mm. Now, now, how old were you when you when you uh, played with that spirit boy, that Ouija boy? Uh, about maybe somewhere between eleven and thirteen. When you were eleven to thirteen, I think I think she probably around that same age. Who initiated that? To um, play with it actually, actually, it came from watching a movie. Mm. Um. um I, you know, I was ex- I was exposed to to movies like that uh, as a. Um, it just it, it somebody was using one in a movie and somehow mm-hmm. we got one. Yeah, I heard we. Who who were the other people? Uh, my cousins. Cousins. So you what? One cousin or two cousins? Two cousins. I mean, your case is just like uh, Christina. On the different with Chris, with you, this spirit had the audacity to to reveal him to reveal itself to Christina and told her that his name was Rufus, and he came to have sexual relations with him. Now, now the spirit never done you so boldly, but it just follows you, just like the spirit followed her. So now, now your the friends that were Satanists uh, did that happen way after you had played with that spirit boy? Yes, it did. So, in other words, your spirit draw, drew you to those type of people. You know, and that's why I come, a darkness don't fellowship with light. When darkness is in a person, that darkness in them would draw them to darkness. That's why I come, if you want to know yourself, your heart, look at your friends. Look at the type of friends you got. The type of friends you got is only a display of who you are on the inside. Because if you, if you, if, if the light, is in you who is Jesus Christ, then your type of friend that you're going to draw are those who are like-minded in Christ Jesus. Oh, yeah, so, I, wasn't, I wasn't safe for years. I wasn't mm-hmm, safe for mm-hmm. years. So, so after, after um, Nikki, you came to the Lord, did, was there any servant of God that, that, that confronted the spirit husband uh, in, in, in witchcraft uh, to come out of you in Jesus' name? Was there ever a confrontation? No. And that means that, that those spirits are still there. I mean, they are still there. And that's, that's who it is that you, you feel. You can literally feel somebody's following you. Sometimes you just look around and see if you can see anybody. But 
you can't see it because it for some reason it, it refused to show itself to you because they know if, if they show themselves to you, you're really going to do something about it. So that's why can they, they, they're not really showing themselves. But God's going to set you totally free. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, I mean, because, you know, there were tarot cards um, in my teenage years. Mm -hmm. And then in, in my adult years, I really didn't get into that stuff anymore, which I think was, you know, um, I mean, God, obviously, he knew me before I knew him. Um, mm, yeah. But That's no, the grace no, of God. Like, you know, ever like prayer of deliverance or the laying on of hands concerning it. Yeah, those spirits. Are still. Now, now, how do you come to the Lord? Share, share that with me. I want to know how do you come? What did God do to to lead you to Him? Um, I actually. Oh, I want to share my testimony, but when I tell you I've been stalked and followed, I almost don't want to tell it because I don't want my identity to be revealed. Well, well, your identity can't be revealed. There's a lot of ninkies in Massachusetts. That's the enemy. That's the enemy yeah, right there trying trying to get you my, not to my, share. My, my, my testimony is very original. Right. But but all I want to know is what did Jesus do to draw you to himself? How did he um, do it? He, he spoke to me, and he spoke to me um, in his mm -hmm. language. He spoke to you how? He, uh, he spoke to me in an audible uh, language. Wow. A foreign language, his native language that I later found out about. Aramaic. Uh, he spoke to you in Aramaic. What did he say? I tell you, I knew it would be interesting. It, very, it, it really is, but I really don't want to reveal my identity. I mean, like, I... Well, tell me, talk. Nikki, how, how, how would that reveal your identity? You sharing the well, goodness of God. I understand that, but I've been stalked. I've been stalked. But still, though, how you sharing sharing the good news of Jesus Christ on because, what he said? Because I find sometimes that deliverance, um, in certain cases, may be personal. And if they're, um, I think they're, deliverance they're, maybe. they're for us to tell. And I think sometimes if they're displayed on the Internet, if someone is comfortable with that being on the Internet, that's fine, but not everybody is. Well, that's a spirit. That is a demon spirit trying to hinder your true deliverance and blessings from God. Because the Lord said we just don't overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb, but also the word of our testimony. Our testimony draws others to Christ Jesus. And if Satan can keep us bowed and fearful in sharing it, then he, he knows that gives him legal right to not to go anywhere. That that thought or suggestion that you just spoken to me was not from the Holy Spirit. It's from them lying spirits that are in you, Nikki. Now, you're going to have to share with us, because Lord told me it's good news, how he revealed himself to you. See, Satan don't want you to, to share the goodness of God, because when we share the goodness of God, it's going to set others free. If I had never shared the goodness of God, all these thousands upon thousands of people that call in for deliverance, they wouldn't have been delivered because God chosen me to use me to deliver them as I was willing to give my testimony. Now, my testimony, I thought I would never be able to share. I really need to get my attention never to ever share my true testimony. There were certain things that I was never going to share. But when the Lord told me, Terry, I want you to share your testimony, I thought about it. Who do I love the best? Do I love my reputation or do I love Jesus Christ? I said, Lord, I well, love you. If I, if I cared about my reputation, what But happens? that's what it is. Whether, that whether you realize or not, you're protecting your name, you're protecting your reputation. That's really what it is, Nikki. The Lord is asking you to share with us how he brought you to himself. The enemy do not want you to share that because the enemy don't want you to share that. It's going to be great encouragement to those who hear it. And, and the enemy also is, 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 has convinced 
bits them, don't share what the Lord has done for you. Someone's going to hear it, and they're going to run to you with it. Come on now. That's a lie of the enemy. There's a lot of the enemy. I'm willing to give my very life, my reputation, my life for Jesus Christ. And you have to do the same thing. If not, Nikki, those well, spirits I, are if not, I, not going to leave. Me, if I didn't give my reputation, it wouldn't have been destroyed in almost three states by the way that I've been stalked. So you're not completely correct. And I mean no disrespect. but it. Oh, has, I understand that. You don't mean no disrespect. It has, it's not you. Completely isolated. I have no friends, I have no real church family, and it's been going on for years. And every time I reveal myself, something happens. Nikki, Nikki, so I'm, I'm not asking calling. you to reveal yourself. I ask you to share. I feel like I've shared I'm not asking. Wrong. Listen, Nikki, listen. I'm not asking you to reveal yourself. I'm asking you to share how the Lord revealed himself to you. And I did. I told you he spoke to me. And then I ask you, what did he say? Now, why is it so difficult for you to tell us what the Lord said to you in Aramaic? Because you can speak Aramaic, but we don't understand Aramaic. Give, give us the, the English understanding of what he said. So if you're not willing to do that, then them devils not going anywhere. Them spirits that are following you in the spirit realm, and also they're following you in the natural realm too, but you just don't see them. They're not going anywhere. You can't even you can't even share your testimony of what how the Lord revealed Himself to you. You're not willing to share it. You know, so that gives those spirit legal right not to go anywhere. And, I, and I'm a type of person, I'm not going to waste my time because time is valuable. Mm-hmm. So, so, so this is what I'm going to leave you at, Nikki. When you get ready to share with me what Jesus Christ said to you in Aramaic to draw you to himself, when you're ready to, to, to tell me, then you can call the delivered conference line. Then, 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 that will give me the, the, the legal go-ahead to cast those spirits out of you. But as long as you refuse to, them demons ain't going nowhere, and I'm just not going to waste my time with them because they know that I know that they, they have legal right to stay. Okay? Okay, have a blessed day. You too. Shalom. Praise the living God. Dear heart. Satan is so cunning and sneaky. That's all I could say. You know, God has spoken to me, and, and if God spoken to me the way he spoke to Nikki, I'll be glad to share with others how my Lord and Savior took the time out to speak to me. I would give you that encouragement. I would give you that hope that the same Jesus Christ who took time to speak to me He will also speak to you. Praise his holy name. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and end session for the day. Now, remember, I hold call-in delivery sessions every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can call our deliverance conference line, 712-775-7031, enter, and then enter SS code 335-950. Now, international, to request a session, just go to our website at howshalom.org slash deliverance, and you will find instructions on how you, too, can join the call through the free conference call mobile app, and that way you can tune in via Wi-Fi, and there will be no charge to you by, you know, um, connecting via Wi-Fi. Praise the living God. So, dear heart, stay blessed in Jesus' mighty name.